Hello guys and welcome to another log of Vital Bracelet D3 White and Yellow Dim and for today's log we have Ankylomon Yeah, Armadillo Mon's evolution I think it looks very very cool Anyway, before we continue with today's log just have to say if you're a fan of Digimon or raising virtual pets you've come to the right channel because I document every Digimon that I raise and I upload at least twice a week So if you're interested in such content go ahead and bash the like and subscribe button with Ankylomon's Tail Hammer and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. Alright, let's get down to today's slot. We have Ankylomon. Uh, let's use as usual we start with etymology and origin of his name. Ankylo clearly means uh Ankylosaurus. That was the reference of this dinosaur name that lived in the Cretaceous period. And it's obviously based on an Ankylosaurus dinosaur, right? So that is Ankylomon. Let's look at his profile on Digimon.net. It's an armored Dragon Digimon completely covered in hard skin, though protuberances cover it all over, giving its charge attack incredible destructive power. Our tough protuberance cover it all over, giving its charge attack incredible destructive power. Although as an herbivore, it lacks ferocity. Herbivore it lacks ferocity, and Kilomon displays a brave nature nonetheless. Its special move, Megaton Press sends it surprisingly high into the sky, after which it slams its massive body down onto the enemy. It uses Tail Hammer to ferociously beat the enemy with the iron ball on the tip of its tail. Any Digimon hit by this technique has its entire skeleton or wireframe utterly obliterated. So really powerful attack. Of course it sounds a bit OP as usual. These this is a time when a lot of the Digimon profiles are slightly more exaggerated, I guess. That's the era it was written in. Still, the design looks awesome. If you look at the artwork, it looks amazing. And I can't wait to see the sprite. And since you're done with profile and etymology, let's take a closer look at its evolution conditions. And when we do that, we go to humulos.com. Highly recommend the website for your evolution condition needs. It's the reason why I'm able to document logs for Vital Bracelet, Vital Bracelet PE, Digimon Color, Digimon Pendulum Color. This site has everything. So if you're ever stuck trying to raise a specific Digimon, go to humulos.com, it will help a lot. Thank you Humulos for creating this awesome website. So Ankylomon here evolves from Amadimon, Amadilomon, aka Amadilomon, or it can evolve from Patamon. Either way, they both require 12 DP, 1500 vital values, and 10 plus battles. So just make sure you hit the right enough of evolution conditions, you will get Ankylomon. Pretty straightforward there. And since you're done with profile and evolution conditions, let's take a closer look at its sprite, shall we? Thank you, Flame Dragon, for allowing that battle to happen. Firing the finishing move on the fifth round is honestly so difficult, so I'm really thankful that you know Ankilawan managed to feature its finishing move thanks to the battle with Flame Dragon. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So anyway, this is Ankilomon and its sprite just looks amazing. Good job there on the sprite design. The design is awesome. This is Vital Bracelet BE sprites don't disappoint honestly and I can see this making its way to D3 um, color evolution if it ever comes but yes this will look amazing on that device as well. So this is its sprite, let's see the sleeping animation. Oh it looks so cute when it sleep. when it's asleep it looks so cute as well. Very nice, I like, I like this Ankylomon sprite. A lot. Let's look at its um, walking animation since we can just jump there <coughs> via adventure. This is his walking animation. Very nice. Very um, well designed. Doesn't look so flat. The different shades of yellow really makes the Ankylomon sprite pop and it doesn't look so flat. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm so glad that they did improve the sprite design by a lot compared to you know some of the horror sprite designs like the Tamers EX ones. Those were really disappointing. So let's look at this punch animation. Let's see if it actually utilize more potential of this uh, sprite design. Okay, cool. The typical, you know, using the head to lift the weights, but at least they didn't just leave them punching or shouting in the air like they did with Armadillomon and Patamon, right? At least this is something nice where they actually make him do some free weights right, although this uh, form is definitely not recommended for humans meant for Digimon only don't do that in your local gym 
this is dash animation. Ah, so it's kind of like a grown-up version of Armadillo Mon. The way it runs, very cute, very nice. I like this. This is adorable, and the sprite just looks great. Can you look at it? This is so fantastic. Oh man, I accidentally pressed it one more time. But yeah, it looks so good. This looks so good. Oh man. I can't wait to see this on Digivice Color Evolution if it ever comes. D3 Evolution. So that's it for Ankylomon. And it's Sprite. If you haven't already, please go ahead and bash the like and subscribe button with Ankylomon's tail and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. I document every Digimon that I raise and I play this for Vital Bracelet, Vital Bracelet BE. Digimon Color, Digimon Pendulum Color, and the playlists are right here. So do check them out if you're interested. Otherwise, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!